Hello, wonderful people. Viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning and good afternoon, depending on where you are at this point in time. I welcome you all to this early Wednesday morning, being the January 4th in the year 2023, bringing to all this Biafra news of this day. How Nigeria and their evil propaganda are made of damaging the spotless image of the IPOP and the ESN at large. So wherever you are, please tighten your seatbelt. Let us move straight into the business of the day. In case this is your first time of hearing my voice and you have not subscribed to this channel, endeavor to subscribe as soon as possible. If you have been hearing my voice right from 2021, 2022 up to this date and you have not subscribed, remember without me, there will be no any news for you and without you, there will be no me. So it is vice versa. If the left hand was the right hand, the right hand will equally was the left hand. That is how life is. So please endeavor to subscribe. Turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified each time we go live or post something new on this channel or any other channel related to Okute Daily Talk. So please start in your seatbelt now. We are taking our news today or this morning from the Biafrans News.com. So uh, you will know the latest about the Biafran struggle, about what is happening around us, about the propagandious news and the blackmailing from the the logical republic of the country called Nigeria, and also the 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 the, the, the police. I be okay. Let me. I call them the ghost because they 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 always in black in black uniform. What they are causing and the mayhem they are they they, 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 they are doing in the in the eastern part of the country. They have tried in 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 every possible way. To make sure that they keep on sabotaging this uh, struggle, but all to no avail. They have uh, deserted in a, in a programming uh, some fake uh, 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 confessions and interrogations of so-called uh, men of the underworld simply because they want to dent the image of the IPOP and Biafrans at large, but they will not succeed. Biafra, Nigeria, and her evil propaganda aimed at damaging the spotless image of the IPOP, indigenous people of Biafra. Sometimes I wonder how Nigerian government ever thought that their cheap propaganda will ever deter the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP from achieving the total freedom from the British slavery called Nigeria. Many times in the past, Nigeria has sold their cheap and deceptive propaganda to the public, claiming to have blocked Radio Biafra. But now, Radio Biafra is still actively broadcasting on a variety of platforms. And wider than ever, Nigeria government has created different fake groups to tell the world that IPOB is divided and Mazen Nam Dekano is no more in charge as the leader of the Biafra Restoration Movement. But all those are propagandious and concocted lies. Are you with me? Let us move here. Anybody that knows Nigeria understands that the country is an epic center of various criminal schemes and this ugly record back deaths to her amalgamation in the year 1914. We all, most of us who attended school, when we still read the history in school, we know the history of amalgamation in 1914, where the, the British uh, colony, I mean the British, um, what would I call it, discoveries, those ones who have come and said that they discovered Nigeria, whereby Nigeria has been in existence for, for, for ages. And they forced us to march together between the, 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 the Eastern Caliphate and the, the Northern Caliphate and the rest of them and the Southern Caliphate. So this is, a, this is a where the scam started. The creation of Nigeria is a scam in the first place. The amalgamation of 1914 is also a scam, a very big one at that. Since the emergence of IPO, Nigerian government have been consciously diverting the blames for all state-sponsored criminalities, always seeking ways to tag them on the noble and spotlight image of the IPO movement. But it is not working for them. And the singular goal behind these dishonest conducts of the government is to see that the agitation of Biafra restoration is totally suppressed. But all their efforts fall to deaf ears. So they feign ignorant of crimes. They are aware that their homegrown terrorist groups who are ravaging the country have committed 
At the same time, they lobby their brown envelope media houses to push these negative narratives. Nigerianews.com is one of them. And also, uh, what do they call him? Um, and also, uh, Daily Trust is also one of them. That is the brown, brown envelope uh, media houses. They don't broadcast anything negative, anything positive except negative uh, news. They can never broadcast anything negative about the government. Even when the government is wrong, they also they will broadcast positive so that their envelope will keep on rolling every ending of the month. There are cases of kidnapping, burning of government facilities all over the country, killings in rural communities every day in Nigeria. But when these acts are perpetrated in the southeast, Biafra land, by some state-sponsored criminals, they will be tagged IPOP and Eastern Security Network by the Nigerian uniformed men and media in all a bid to tag IPOP a violent group. The worst of it is that when they catch courtists, juju men, when they read any criminal hideout, they will run to media to call IPOP the culprits. <laughs> yes, of course. We have been seeing this not once, not twice. Almost it, is, it has been a daily occurrence that now nobody no anything, even if you go to Chief Fowl now, be rest assured that in the next 30 minutes, you will see it on the news media, on all these brown uh, envelope media houses, that IPOP has, has stolen a chicken. <laughs> I laugh in Bangladesh. <laughs> I will call, I will call my, 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 but the way he always uh, pronounce it, <laughs> it will always uh, draw me into coma. <laughs> but God forbid. <laughs> Just a few days back, Nigerian police, police have been police, lost to the media and lobbied, locked them to lie to the world that they have seen IPO bomb factory in Ebony State. Even when no investigation was carried out. In the same vein, a recently calculated video clip about one Ejima alleged that they kill people and the general of a, a officer commanding uh, uh, the, the key people and uh, the general officer uh, commanding ESN, Mazi China Samuru, is the one sponsoring the killings. How can China Samuru be the sponsor of the same criminals he has called out their names and warned earlier this, this year on Radio Biafra to stop terrorizing Biafrans? That is the problem because most of all these actors. They, sometimes they don't read the script well. They went out of the public to make mockery of themselves and the ones and the writers of those scripts. Because uh, you are calling somebody who have been on the on the verge of this uh, struggle, who have been trying in one way or the other to make sure that the criminality and crimes is no more in the Biafra land. Whereby they, 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 they gather together and set up ESN, Eastern Security Network, to make sure that every loose and crimes of uh, the, the, the Biafra land, the Eastern region, is secured from uh, invaders who are bent on taking over our ancestral lands. So you come out tomorrow and they didn't ask, they didn't ask questions well before you begin to insert people's names that they are the ones sponsoring the killings happening in the eastern region. My brother, go and check yourself very well. You need some medications. IPOP is registered in over 120 countries of the world and none of the IPOP members anywhere has ever been convicted of any crime. Nigerian government should stop chasing shadows. Tell them that again. Nigerian government make another stop to the chase shadows. And I get the point now. Biblical passage Matthew five, uh, Matthew chapter five, uh, uh, verse fourteen to sixteen, gave the summary of IPOP. It is the light of Africa and the world at large. The passage said, "A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men." Light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. You get the point now? Huh? We are moving forward. The Lord is still coming. I hope is that light, the light of Africa and the world at large, with all her deeds, Always make open and have no stain whatsoever. The light has come and will continue to shine till the end of time. In other words, in conclusion, free Mazinam Dekanu, free Biafrans, 
then uh, give us the referendum we are asking from the government of the day let us move into another news of this very morning seven have seven people have been hospitalized according to the news as a bubago operatives invade EZ community in a boy state the people who have been chosen to be the custodian of power are now the one destroying the same power the people who have been uh, given the authority to save lives and property are now the ones taking lives it has become a norm in nigeria for people to lose their lives for nothing's sake it has become a normal thing in nigeria that people always uh, 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 killed on daily basis without nobody asking questions why and how what are the crimes of these people that keep dying on daily basis it started eight years ago that the incident killings and the 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 the, the sharing of the of a, of a, of a innocent blood in the in the country that is why you see this country can never ever move forward no country succeed like this we are not fighting war but indirectly nigeria is fighting a civil war endless civil war from the hands of the the, the invaders from the hands of uh, the boko harams the issue the bandits the unknown government so many so forth and even the bubagu them they have joined these very people look at the people who are supposed to be the custodian of power who are supposed to be the ones that are taking care of uh, the people are the ones killing the people mamming them shedding their blood on our land May the God forbid that this thing ever repeat itself in this very country again. The earlier the people rise, rise up and wisen up to know that this thing, this attribute, the insecurity in our land, have been an imported violence from the so called uh, governors, the ones whom we are trusted and voted for, to go there and defend us. Rather, they have turned back to destroy lives and property. May God never allow us to see any governor like Hopu Zodima again. Or devil may, or even may Nigeria never ever happen to any of us. That is our prayers on daily basis. The operatives of the Bubago Security Outfit, created by the Nigerian Southeast Governors Forum, it is created by devil may and the of the man. Let us tell our say the truth now. Which one is a governor's forum? Whereby other governors don't even support this Bubago. How many Bubago can you find in any good state? The answer is none. So why are we lying to ourselves? Led by Dave Omaye of Ebony State, have shot at least seven persons in his community of Ebony State. This tragic incident occurred in the late evening hours of Friday. Um, being uh, no, no, sorry, not Friday. On Monday, being the first day, I mean second day of uh, December in the year 2023, at the burial ceremony of Chief Ayogo Mbamba of Owala Owala Agwevu in uh, EZ, EZ local government area look, uh, of Ebony State. Sorry for the uh, for the area mistake, please. Uh, the, the, I'm just uh, reading uh, something on my mind that made me to be making uh, all these uh, silly mistakes. So, to, to, to put the record straight, it happened on the second day of uh, the month of January in the year 2023. So, please take note. The Family Writers Press International correspondent on the scene Asserting that the team of these lousy, trigger happy operators of the Bubago, commanded by a man identified as, as Otozi Ikechuku, stormed the venue of the funeral uninvitedly, drank themselves to stupor, and started shooting. Can you imagine that? Shooting indisc indiscriminately into the air, even as there was no call for such unprofessional actions as the funeral ceremony, which was peacefully conducted, was almost over. In the process, the wife of the village youth president, Mrs. OGK Andrew, got hit in the head by one of the multiple bullets, uh, loose bullets spread into the atmosphere by these drunk agents. Immediately, the entire occasion was thrown into turmoil. There was a heavy commotion at the compound. Everyone deserted uh, their comfort zones to a safer position to hide from the running bullets. At this, at this point, did not data them the bubago operatives from shooting. They still continue shooting on the air or shooting sporadically. Whether they, 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 they are getting all this bullet they are wasting, just for nothing's sake. 
Those bullets and ammunition have been given to them to secure the land. Now they are used those same bullets to turn against the people who 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 seek for their services. This world no balance you. Uh, this is this is unacceptable in this society of this this twenty first century. Uh, in a bid to exit the devastated prem, uh, premises, six others got hit by the bullets, bringing the total number to seven persons. The victims were rushed to local uh, medical center in the community, Sudan United Mission Hospital at Izuigo, where three of the victims were admitted immediately, and the doctor on examine on examine confirmed that their lives were not at risk, that though their injuries were serious, but they were minimal compared uh, that of uh, that one of uh, other four. The hospital therefore declined the rest four citing lack of medical facilities to attend to their injuries. The rejected victims were immediately moved to another hospital in the state capital, Abakaliki, for treatment, including the lady that was shot in the head. The reports have confirmed that among us, the four, three have been treated and the bullets extracted out from their bodies, and uh, they are responding to treatments. The woman shot in the head is said to be a ver uh, to be in a very critical condition and have been referred to the intensive care unit ICU for surgery. As at the time of filling this report, we are yet to confirm if she survived or that she unfortunately succumbed to her injuries. This news is brought to you by Family Writers International Association of Nigeria, reporting from Uzi Ebo State, Nigeria. We are moving forward to please do not give up or do not touch the dial. We have more to tell to you all this very afternoon. Another beggar don't happen to make on the hear this one. This one, eh? Don't be only my ear go hear a more. This one, eh? No be only my ear go hear a more. As the Yubo man you to say, they say promiscuousness or promiscuous meant. I don't know how they speak this English. Please you both pardon my manners. Uh -huh. All this talk talk without uh, any love. Sometimes it can turn somebody to become a talkative. But now we're standing. We are moving forward. How about this? I've been a native doctor. How do they take the for your own language? You don't go chop a pastor wife. Who, on the process of chopping pastor wife, the Mahabalist slums and dies. <laughs> what a wicked word. Pastor wife with the Habalist. I beg, waiting pastor wife, they find for Habalist. I be waiting at least they find for past wife body. I don't understand this uh, this 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 headline. Who find who? I beg who find who? Eh? And why is men always dying on the on the process of chopping? Why women are not dying? If I may ask, and who will give me the answers to this question? Please drop it at the comment section. If the herbalist don't slums and dies uh, during uh, chopping, romp with the alleged pastor's wife in a kitty stage. An incident in a kitty state has tried mixed reactions after a man suspected to be a herbalist reportedly died during knocking romp with a woman also suspected to be the wife of a pastor. This one, wife of a native pastor, be church pastor. Make gonna make it clear now so that we're gonna, we're gonna know what's the herbalist. Eh? <laughs> Even herbalist can die on top of chopping. I beg you, <laughs> while I know the finish, while I show the tie rapper. It was gathered that the middle-aged man slumped and subsequently died after rounds of knocking with a woman at a hotel in Ikere, Ekiti, headquarters of Ikere local government area of uh, Ekiti State. The Okute News, we learned that the incident happened this Monday, January 2, 2023, on the one of the sources quoted by the Punch, who prefer not to be mentioned, said, the woman was the wife of a cleric in one of the churches in the area. Maybe the woman is, a, is the wife of a, a celestial pastor. Uh -huh. Let us uh, proceed. She said, the man died in the hotel room while uh, having the knocking with the woman. That is the knockology. The woman raised the alarm after realizing that the man had collapsed and died. <laughs> the manager of the hotel and some residents rose to the scene. And immediately took the man to a nearby hospital where he was confirmed dead. 
I beg, on a no tell us whether the bowler still standing. I be he don't he don't give up the ghost. Uh, as the as the main spirit don't work all over. <laughs> this life no balance you. Confirming the incident, the police public relations officer at the state command, Sunday Abutu, told reporters that the law enforcement agency has begun an investigation into the circumstances leading to the man's death. For another person, wife, now I want to do the do investigation. Eh? It's alright. Abutu said, we can confirm the death of the man in one of the hotels in uh, Ikerekiti on Monday. His corpse have been retrieved and deposited at the mall, pending when the autopsy is completed. We are interrogating the woman in question as we embark on investigation to unravel the cause of the man's sudden death. Okay, oh, well, on, on our God, the, 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 the this thing. The unravel the, the circumstances, please. You both let us know because my fans will also uh, have to be interested in knowing exactly how and uh, when it happened. Nam Nam the Kano will be released. The video will be bere will be bereaved again. Prophet sales in shocking 2023 video. Who, who, who is this again? Let us see who this prophet is and why. The Wisdom Church of Christ International founder. Prophet O B C or Olu Joby has in his 2023 prophecy revealed that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Oketuku Nam the Kano, will be released soon. Soon, oh hey. Okute News report that the prophet disclosed this in his 2023 prophecies, where he also predicted that the popular musician David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, will lose someone close to him again. I bet who is killing? I hope this is not real. Let's take it that uh, it is just a joke. Read prophecies below. Price of food, education, and crude oil will skyrocket, and this will lead to massive protest after a new president is sworn in. Nigeria's break. Sorry, let me uh, correct this impression. If the price of uh, crude oil skyrocket, that means Nigeria will have money. No need to go and borrow because they are one of the uh, uh, oil producing uh, country we have or, or oil producing nation we have in the world. So I don't see where we, they can protest on the hike, hiking of food and education. But if the crude oil skyrocket, that means Nigeria will pay part of their loans, their borrow borrow. You don't get the point? So let us proceed. Nigeria's breakup is certain, but the the present agitators like Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Boho, Nam De Kano, and others are not the ones choosing for the task. Are you serious? Okay, now. Nah. Nam De Kano will be released soon. Hear the prophecy. Prophet, prof, uh, okay, Professor Woleso Inka, Paruben Fasoranti, Chief Ayo Adebanjo are all having, having their last supper. Uh, it's alright. If there, it is time for them to go, I wish them well because they have tried and they have contrib contributed enough to the uh, either to the growth of the country or to the downfall of the country. But whichever way, they have contrib contributed something. So let us proceed. Only of Ife or Badeye in Itan we still return. We still return to one wife. All the women present in his palace will evaporate one by one. Okay, now. Nah. We will hold you by your word. Ola BC or be Olu BC. Obasikiru Kayode Adetona, the Awojale of Ijebu land, should tidy up his house. He will depart shortly after the election. Are you serious? So that they hear him, Abi. This one, no, this one, no, before it, you know, just make sure this thing go viral so that you get to every ear that cares to listen. Or by one Akinulu of Lagos should pray and watch over his health. Noted. Sultan of Sokoto, Emyasad Abubaka, should be prepared for a heavy task, especially in peace brokerage in the next government. Are you serious? Okay, now. Davido again will be bereft. I see him dragging with a strong covenant that is beyond his age. Hmm. Almost all the entertainers have sold their souls to Satan, and this will come haunting them 
in this 2023 except they repent and restitute. Bayo Salami, aka Ogabelu, Lere Paimo, aka Eda Onilola, Onilola, Ido Phillips, aka Yarembo, Grace Oyen, Adejobi, aka Ya Ochobo, Pete Doche, and Chiwetarago should hand over their mantle to their favorites as the journey is near. Okay, now. Nah. I know. I hope you are not pronouncing death for people. Pronounce the solution. No, all these people you are pronouncing death on. They are not ready to go. It is not a time for them to go. Russia and Ukraine war will continue with Putin being the main target. I see Putin's end in a short time. We will hold you by your word, uh, prophet. No go prophesy the one way go put Nigeria in problem. Oh, I don't talk my own, JJ. America and China. Economy, America and China economies will suffer a decline in the first quarter of 2023, but will later exhibit a marketable strength of growth. They keep on that is market inflation, so leave that one aside. COVID restrictions will again be effective in many nations, and another deadly virus is on the way, but this time it will be restricted to the original domain. Thank you for saying this. Former Pope Benedict. Five died after the release, release of statement, and Pope Francis will be called home soon. Ah, okay now, we understand you very correctly. That is all you, you people need to know about the release of Martin Namdekano and other prophecies concerning the top uh, people in the society. So let us continue with the news we still have at hand. 2023 is about years some weekend and uh, I'm Hichi. Whether I'm Hichi more than I go, I be which kind of Hichi be this one, but let's see. As I'm Hichi business partner, the reason he should vote for him, we can blast reverse APC, cause party a carcass. Uh, we can see for mention trouble, so continue. The governor of Re uh, River State, near some weekend, has lampooned his predecessor, wrote me I'm Hichi, for allegedly failing to do anything productive during his eight years tenure. The governor, while speaking during the flag off of the construction of uh, Mbodioha Road in Obiakbo, local government area of the state, opined that the River State chapter of all Progressive Congress APC is dead long ago, according to Yesom Wiki. He warned the citizenry against voting for candidates Amechi was presenting to them under the umbrella of APC. He said, when Amechi brings his, uh, bring in his business partner and tells you to vote for him, ask him why he should vote for him. Some of you who are still thinking, if you will support PDP, what are you thinking about APC? What are you thinking about? APC is a carcass. Rivers people who are still in APC, what are you doing there? You have been there for eight years without doing a single thing for your people. Amechi said that he is a proper Ikwere man. The fact that you are born in Ikwere doesn't make you a proper Ikwere man. Ah, I'm going to continue your weekend. Give us more details because we know that your, wide is, uh, your mouth is wide open. I'm happy that one of our, one of our leaders from Ikwere, Orebule, is one of the strong, strong supporters of Rotimi Amechi. He is a senator. Okay, he's a senior ad advocate of Nigeria, son. His father was one of the greatest supporters of Amechi. He, he did everything any equivalent man could do to give him support. Rumor uh, Rumor Main Road was awarded and Amechi didn't do that road and left office. Was that road not completed? It was completed on that weekend. Speaking on the project, Wiki explained that the road when completed would improve productive work in the area increase rent and economic activities with thrive, urging the people to vote for his successor he asked the indigenous to compare rumor rumor or, 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 okay rumor or rumeni to what is it is now as against the time amechi was in power politics is, is all about what you get for your people the pdp was brought has brought the uh, development to rumor Rumeni, you can tell them that the governor promised to develop our area and he has delivered. He completed Rumeni Road, Nava Base Road, Mboshimili Road, 
And if you give us support, we will build the bridge across Ajib. Uh, Governor Wike lamented and added. The last but not the least, if you are still listening to me and you are still attentive, please hear this last but not the least. Two popular Nigerian celebrities who have opened the 2023 with a bad splash of millions of nairas on cars and houses have been what have been noted out. So let us see them as we round up this very broadcast. Just three days into the year 2023, three Nigerian celebrities have taken to social media to share their latest acquisitions. Ukuteni report that the former Big Brother Niger housemate Chukwu Emeka Okoye, popularly known as Fraud, has acquired a new house and car worth millions of naira. Ado, continue. The reality star who celebrated his birthday on January 1st, 2022 through a lavish two in one party to celebrate his latest achievements. The news of the latest accusations was shared by his friends on Instagram after they turned up for the party. Sharing photos of the video a new ride, his friend captioned, Congratulations, you are quite angry. Who vets you? Okay. Fraud acknowledged the congratulatory message by reposting them on his uh, in Insta Insta story. Uh, okay now. Continue. Nigerian singer Chike also acquired a house alongside two bands and shared the photos on his uh, Snapchat social media outlet. That is it. P Square makes confession. Meanwhile, Nigerian singer Peter Koye of the P Square Music Duo has revealed why they refuse to release new songs after their re reunion in 20. 21. Ukutenu record that after many years of separation, the twin brothers reunited and many fans were constantly asking when they will release a new album, but they ignored it. The reason is best known to them. Instead, the singers toured various countries for their music concert in 2022, singing their old songs and they sold out the venue massively. Taking to his Twitter page, Mr. P as he is finally called, announced that the music group will soon release an album as a way to celebrate their comeback. According to their singer, it was a game plan not to release an album after their re re reunion because they wanted to talk around the world with their classic old songs. Peter Koye said, following the su success of their concerts, which they sold out and cast out, they are ready to release a new album describing the, the, the scenario as Igbo Sense. Okay, well, our Igbo Sense, I hope you know, will lead us to destruction. So, my great people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and lovers of mankind, this is where we are coming to the end of this news. In case you are not subscribed to this channel, endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that you will be notified each time we go live or post something new on this channel or any other channel that is related to Okute Daily Talk. Until I come your way again, please, remember, make this video, let it go viral. That those uh, people we, we, whom we voted are the ones now destroying our lives and property. The ones whom we called on to safeguard our lives because of invaders are the, now, are the, now, the, the ones now taking our lives and destroying our properties. That is uh, Ebubiago. They have invited uh, Ebu, Ebu State community and... Uh, injured seven good people on an on, on on a in an area that is nobody invited them for any burial or whatsoever so have a nice day and may the almighty to Yabama bless us the father the son and of the holy spirit bye for now